Protesters in Hong Kong prepared before dawn Monday to square off with police. July 1st is normally a day of activism there, the date Britain handed its territory over to China. This year's anniversary was bound to be more intense. For months, Hong Kongers have been building a movement to pressure the legislature to drop a bill that would let suspected criminals be extradited to the mainland. Hours later, demonstrators used a different tactic, holding a peaceful march that drew half a million people. But an offshoot group was frustrated that nonviolent protests have only gotten the government to suspend the bill. They gathered a few blocks away at the Legislative Council building and started smashing windows. By dusk, protesters had made their way in, tagging their grievances on the walls. In the council chamber, they tore up copies of the basic law, the set of rules that Britain and China had agreed to. Then they draped Britain's colonial flag on the seat of power and blacked out the island's emblem. Protesters got word police were planning to sweep the building at midnight. Those caught were at risk of getting a 10-year sentence for rioting. They fought over what to do, and some protesters forced the others out. At 4 a.m. local time, the island's chief executive appointed by China held a press conference. This is something that uh, we should seriously condemn because nothing is more important than the rule of law in Hong Kong. Britain's foreign minister tweeted that the UK's support for Hong Kong was, quote, unwavering. But China had a reminder for Britain. China hasn't intervened yet, but this statement is a warning that they may not stand for whatever protests come next.